Okay, here I am again with my XT250 ready to put on another mod. What I've got so far is the skid plate um, that I put on in my last video. You can see it's pretty dirty. It's gotten some wear. I've heard it, you know, as I've hit rocks, some pretty loud clangs from down there. Um, I don't know if it would have broken anything, but I was glad to have it on when I heard that. Um, I also put on these hand guards. They got they're used to. Um, I really need to clean this thing, but uh, they worked great. There used to be a sticker here um, from that just said Tusk, but it got all torn up when I crashed my bike. But no problems uh, with my levers. They survived, so they've been great. These came with, um, I got the kind that have integrated turn signals that uh, I was going to put on before my last trip, but it turned out to be a bigger project than I had time for because I couldn't find out where these wires terminated so I'll probably make another video of that just in case anybody's curious but today I'm going to do something simple I just got these new foot pegs from DMO Specialties um, did a lot of looking around at the different options for XT250s and this one came up a lot um, I think it's just a guy that that's all he does you go to their site um, dmospecialties.com and all you see is three um, options, one for XT250, one for XT225, and one for the TW200. But everybody loves them. I figured uh, they look great. After after riding a couple hundred miles on these and the dirt, the stock ones, I could just really tell. I mean, it, it feels like I'm standing on toothpicks. I had a, a friend with his w, uh, WR250 a little bit bigger bike, but he had uh, bigger foot pegs and it just made a world of difference. So that was the, the thing that I came away from that trip wanting to do. So it looks like it's pretty straightforward. There's a cotter pin that I'm gonna need to pull out. And then I'm not sure what's gonna happen with that spring, but I will pull it out and I'll let you know. Here we go. Oh, all right, so I've gotten the cotter pin out knows what's going to happen when I pop this pin out. It might come flying at my face. Let's see what we got here. Oh, that was very <laughs> anticlimactic. Okay, so looks like the spring just sits in there nice and easy. All right, I'm gonna put it into the other guy. I assume this is gonna work the same way. Just put that in, put the pin through, and that will be that. Be right back. All right, that was pretty easy. Put that cutter pin in, bent it, broke off the extra ends. And now I have a nifty new peg. So I'm gonna do the same on the other side. And in case you're wondering, that's what the other side looked like. The other side took about two minutes after doing it on the first side and figuring out how it was done. So, hooray, bye-bye.